Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about Python dictionary. Till now, we have completed four data types, numbers, string, list and tuple. We know very well number means which is used to store integer values, float and complex numbers. Then string is used to store single character or group of words. Then list and tuples are used to store multiple values of different data type in single variable. The only difference is list are mutable and tuples are immutable. Now we'll see what is dictionary. Dictionary is also a another data type in Python which stores like key value pairs which is totally a different concepts from other data type. We'll see with an example for better clarity. Dictionary are represented by the curly braces inside this each key will have its own value which is separated by colon and this is why it is called as key value pairs or they can also say it as item and each items are separated by commas and all these pair of values are assigned to a single variable this is how we create the dictionary and save the values it is exactly similar to associative array or hash in other programming languages if you already knew those concepts, then it is easy to correlate it. Otherwise, no worries. We will learn with a practical implementation. First one, we will learn how to create an empty dictionary. My dictionary is the variable name equal to mention the curly braces. Whenever you see curly braces, it means it's a dictionary. So we created the empty dictionary. Printing it, empty dictionary is created. The next example how to create a dictionary with integer key for that variable name colors equal to so within the curly braces we have to provide value in key value mechanism for example one is the key colon within the code red the one key will have the value red similarly comma adding next key two colon green same way three colon yellow so we have created a dictionary with integer keys and each integer key will have its own value we will execute and this is how the output is created the next example is dictionary with mixed keys mixed keys means it can be integer string tuples it can be of any combination the variable name dictionary to equal to within the curly braces key name and its value we know th. this is a string then one is an another key i am giving value within the list red comma green we created a dictionary with mixed keys it consists of integer string and a list printing it we got the correct output then if you want to check the data type of your variable print type and pass the variable name just run it you will get class as dict it means this particular variable is dictionary this is how we will create the dictionary variables hope you got an idea about it then dictionaries are mutable that is we can add remove modify the values similar to list data type and then there is no index value concept in dictionary this is also another reason when we try to retrieve a value from big chunk of data it will find the exact value quickly rather than going one by one like index 0 1 2 so on one more important note in dictionary no duplicate keys are allowed in this example we can see the key 2 is mentioned twice one is for green another one is for blue but when we execute it it will display in the output only once and it will take the last assigned value here the last assigned value is blue this is one of the interview question the next topic is how to access the element from your dictionary it is very simple we have to mention the key inside the enclosed square brackets We'll see with an example. Here, 
we created a dictionary and the variable name is my details which contains three keys name age and address with respective values now how to access each key print mention the variable name then square bracket inside that you have to mention the key for example i will mention the key name just run it the name key contains the value we know it. similarly one more example print the variable name enclosed a square bracket within the code mention the key just run it we know it. and for address it is chennai then in case if we try to access a key which is not available in the dictionary then what will happen print my details for example i am checking the phone number just run it you got the key error it means if the value is not available in the dictionary variable then we will get the key error we can also access the element using get method one big advantage of using get method is in case if the key is not in the dictionary variable we will not get the key error instead we will get the nun value when you want to access an element always use the get method for safer side same example positive scenario first parent variable name dot get mention name run it using get method we can able to access the key and value similarly when you try to access the phone number which is not available in the dictionary you will get the output as none so just see the difference previous example it's a key error in this example it is none that's why i said try to use always get method when you want to access the keys the next topic is how to add elements in a dictionary we can add an element by using the assignment operator now i want to add phone numbers to this dictionary variable the syntax for that is my details within the square bracket mention key equal to the assignment operator now give the value within the code provided the contact number now print and check the output run it you got four dictionary keys and its value the phone number key is added at the end this is how we will add keys to a dictionary variable and uh, next topic how to update the value because adding a value means it will add at the end how to update or change an existing value now we'll see my details within the square bracket mention the key we know the key is age and what is the value value i am making it as 31 initially the age is 30 now i am updating it to 31 print the dictionary variable executed previously it was 30 now the value is updated to 31 hope you got a clear picture conclusion is adding and update is same syntax if the key is not available then the new value will be added if the key is available the new value will be updated that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning